Hello, good people. It's Tuesday, so I wanted to do a more fun video for you guys uh, compared to the uh, recent ones that have mostly been tutorials and will it blend. Uh, I'm not sure I'm go if I'm going to continue uh, will it blend, but as long as I uh, keep getting no feedback from you guys, I will keep doing it. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so this isn't really going to be a, much of a tutorial, but you guys can follow along if you want. What I'll basically be doing is I'm going to be reskinning the uh, physics gun uh, in the game Gary's mod because I recently uh, reskinned my gloves and uh, hands. For, uh, yeah, my uh, first person player model here, so I wanted to do a skin for my physics gun. So, yeah, I have a, I have an idea in mind, but since it's not really very planned out, I'm going to kind of wing it. But, yeah, we'll see how this turns out. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I got this uh, VTF file for the uh, physics gun. How I basically did that was I used a program called GCFscape to uh, open up the file location of Gary's mod. I went into my uh, materials, models I think it was, and I went into my weapons folder and I found uh, the the Fizz Cannon uh, folder, and the uh, image I'll be editing here is the V Fizz Cannon uh, sheet VTF, not the uh, normal map or the detail map. I'm not going to be touching those. So yeah, I just uh, dragged it out on my desktop, and I'm ready to get started. So yeah, in order to be able to edit it, I I mean I can't edit it in VTF Edit the program I'm using to open the VTF files, I'll have to export it to a PNG and uh, work with it in GIMP, so that's what I will do. So yeah, I'm just exporting it as a PNG and to my desktop. And there we go. That doesn't really look right, did I? Uh, Exports the right format. Yes. Oh No, I'm supposed to uh, export it as a bitmap first and then I uh, I'll export it from GIMP as a PNG. So yeah, that looks much better So I'll just delete the uh, PNG I made so yeah, I exported it to my uh, desktop as a uh, as a P as a bitmap file So now I'll open that up with GIMP Yeah, I'm ready to uh, get started. So what I was kind of thinking for my design here is leaving most of the uh, basic parts normal except for this piece and this piece here. I kind of want to do in a cool like wireframe texture style where the base is white and the wireframes are either dark green or black. We'll see what happens. So yeah. Just making a new layer here. And I'm going to try my best to select the pieces I want to use using the uh, the loop select tool or whatever it's called. So yeah, I'll try to do that as quick as possible because I want to get right down to the uh, fun part, which is the texturing. Trying to keep it as clean as possible. Don't want to get any of those other parts in the uh, in the parts I want to edit. So yeah. Alright. Once I got those parts all selected there, I'll uh, paint bucket over my uh, paint bucket over them and 
yeah, that'll be my base color there. And in order to see it, I'm just going to lower the uh, opacity a bit. So, because I want to be able to see under it for uh, where I want to make my lines and stuff. Because, yeah. And when I said uh, wireframe earlier, what I meant was the uh, vertices and lines and stuff on the, uh, on the metal of the texture. I kind of want to take a color and make like lines to like emulate that. See what happens. I'm just gonna test it with black first to uh, see if see what I should do here. If I do this right, it could turn out pretty gnarly. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out whether I should leave it, uh, leave the lines black, or go for green instead. I think it would look kind of cool as black, so I'm gonna keep it like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going with these uh, lines I'm making. think this could turn out pretty cool if I do it right. Yeah, my style I'm kind of going for here is to like emulate the uh, wireframe uh, rendering mode in like a program like Blender or something or a 3D modeling program or just like the generic way media portrays like 3D objects and stuff yeah let's see how that looks so far cool but I still have some more work to do here the more lines I figure the cooler it'll look and I hope I'm right And yeah, if this turns out uh, cool, I might uh, actually use it in-game when I uh, play Gary's mod. Or not. I mean, some things are just a flop. Some things turn out pretty cool. I don't know if I like this part here. But I guess we'll just have to see. I could always uh, remove it later on. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, you guys can follow along. Um, again, this isn't really a tutorial, it's more like just a let's paint or let's build something see how it turns out and I want to keep this uh, video relatively short so yeah not really gonna spend too much time on all the little details and yeah I have uh, moved on to this next piece here the left part of the physics gun this part's gonna be fun to do.
because it has a lot of intricate parts. Yeah, video's nearing uh, 10 minutes. Kind of want to keep it under 15, so I'm going to hurry up. It's okay if it's more than uh, 15 minutes, though. Looks pretty cool. And yeah, the more lines, the better, I guess. I don't know, I haven't tried this idea. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. But you never know how it'll uh, actually turn out in game until you actually test it, so. Make that little part there. And we will test it soon. Yeah, I just want to keep uh, going back, uppering the opacity to kind of see where I'm at in terms of how I'm doing in the uh, finished product. Yeah, so it's like a blocky, blocky sort of style. Like I said, to uh, try and emulate 3D geometry. But also hopefully make a pretty cool looking style for a uh, reskin. Alright, we almost be we might almost be ready to uh, throw this into Gmod and see see how it looks. Still want to do a couple of tweaks first. And I think we're pretty much ready. So yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot to uh, connect the lines for this part. Still not sure about this part over here, but if not, we can always change it. Alright, now we can set the uh, opacity all the way up. I think... I think it might look make it look a little bit cooler to uh, sort of pixelize the lines. Make them uh, thicker. Yeah, let's try that and see what happens. Might look cool. Might not. We'll just have to see. And yeah, I'm done with that. So I'll export it as a PNG. Because for some reason I can't open up a bitmaps on VTF editor for some reason. So yeah, I'm gonna try and hurry up. We're nearing 15 minutes. So I'm gonna export that to my desktop. Open my file back up. And I'm gonna import the uh, new image I made. And it'll load on up. Right? And then I have to resave it as my physics gun. I'll just rename it so it doesn't replace it there. Okay, so now that we have our new uh, VTF file all set up, and just opened it up real quick to make sure it works, I can uh, open up my new, I mean, open up my uh, Gary's Mod folder, and I'll find where, uh, where my materials folder is in uh, 
just my Gary's mod folder and where I created the models weapons uh, section and I'll just throw that in and if I uh, open up Gary's mod I'll pretty much be uh, ready to test my skin and now I should be uh, pleasantly surprised hopefully I always forget to do that take the uh, Huh, I don't really know how I think about this. I didn't really uh, think it would uh, flicker like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, in the uh, in the PNG, I set the uh, opacity all the way up, so... Didn't realize it would, like, uh, flicker from non-opaque to uh, opaque, but still looks pretty cool. Uh, I may or may not use it, but yeah. Either way, uh, this was a, uh, reskinning of, uh, the Gary's Mod Physics Gun. And hope you enjoyed.